So far we have studied about the spermatogenesis. We came to know that the spermatogenesis is completed in two phases. The phase one is the formation of spermatid and phase two is the formation of sperms from the spermatids that is spermiogenesis. And first phase, the formation of spermatid again divided into three subphases: multiplication phase, growth phase, and maturation phase. Let us now discuss the multiplication phase. Multiplication phase. In multiplication phase, what happens? How the primordial germ cells, they enter into the gonads. They divide into the spermatogonia like stem cells, which is sort of like stem cells. And how these spermatogonial stem cells, they divide and re-divide to produce more and more spermatogonia. We will discuss. Okay. Let us start with the PGC primordial germ cells. The primordial germ cells in short abbreviated form we are using the PGCs. The primordial germ cells are the precursors Precursor means previous days. Precursor of gametogonia, gamete mother cell. Gametogonia, gamete mother cell, which are arise, which are arised from dorsal endoderm. dorsal endoderm of yolk sac yolk sac migrate along the hind gut and enters into the gonads pgc arise from the posterior endoderm dorsal or we can say posterior we can use the better we can use posterior endoderm Posterior endoderm of yolk sac. Yolk sac is the extra embryonic membrane that is protective layer surrounding the embryo. But exactly it is not surrounding, it is in human being, it is vestigia, non functional. But in early embryonic stage, it is somewhat functional. So from the yolk sac, endoderm of the yolk sac, the PGCs are arise. They migrate along the hindgut and enters into the gonad. After reaching the gonad, they divide into specific gametogonia. That is when in male, they enter, in the male gonads they enter, they become spermatogonia. But this spermatogonia surveys the stem cell. We can discuss how the PGC is divided to what type of spermatogonia. They divide to into the spermatogonial stem cells. So we can say a set of write down these points. A set of spermatogonia sorb is 
stem cells sorry stem cells that divide and redivide mitotically to produce more spermatogonia to produce more spermatogonia for further use when is another set the other set where is the other set of spermatogonia do not divide mitotically do not divide do not divide mitotically but they block or grow they block and divide meiotically to produce produce the sperms a set of spermatogonia they sub like the stem cells and uh, they divide they divide, divide mitotically to make the reservoir of the spermatogonia for the further use whereas other they divide only meiotically they develop and divide meiotical to produce the sperms let us see how it occurs i told you the pgc is primordial germ cells they divide into ssc spermatogonial stem cells what i told spermatogonial these are spermato gonial spermatogonial stem cells generally which are called type a which are generally called or type a we can write down in higher class you will use this the type a like that or intermediate stem uh, intermediate uh, spermatogonia they are also known as in the second set what uh, that uh, we have drawn the diagram just i am showing you then these are spermatogonia these all are spermatogonia all we can say these are spermatogonia where we have drawn the diagram like this one pgc divided into two spermatogonia again these two spermatogonia divided into all these are two in number cells diploid cells diploid cells so pgc is outside the gonad when enters into they remain like this they have the capacity to divide and give a uh, different this these are the mitosis rapid due to rapid mitosis it occurs mitosis at puberty the spermatogonia some of these spermatogonia enters into the 
meiosis. Then what happens here? What happens in multiplication phase? The rapid mitotic division. Thus we can say one PGC can give rise can give rise four spermatogonia by how many number of mitosis, mitotic division, how many number? You see, one, one mitotic division, this is, this is one mitotic division, another mitotic and another. One, two and three. So we can see one PGC, primordial germ cell can give rise four spermatogonia by how many number of mitotic division? How uh, many by this number of mitotic division? That is the answer will be three mitotic division. That means, or we can say the four spermatogonia are produced from a primordial germ cells by how many mitotic division? That is n minus 1. What is the number of spermatogonia? This can be taken as n. n. Then the mitotic division, number of mitotic division if it is asked, n minus 1. That many mitotic division. What one formula? Okay. Then 